guys. This is a general reading for the Collective of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, Cross Watchers. If you're brand new to the channel, happy to have you join us. So let me start by saying this is not my normal setup. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I usually sit over there. Um, but I'm waiting for a new desk. Uh, the old one was carted away. The new one arrived damaged. So... That's my kitchen. This is the bar. That's my living room. And so I'm holed up here for a little while. The lighting isn't great. We're going to rough it. Okay. Um, also, the sound isn't awesome because I have to use it through my webcam. So it sounds a little echoey, but we can roll for a month. It's not the end of the world. Uh, also, I did want to let you know that this is the last series of readings where uh, we're going to go in my normal order. So there's a little note that should pop up here shortly that says, watch this video because I did do a video explaining what's happening and why and what you can expect. So I advise that you watch it so that you know what's happening. Okay. Even if you're new, watch it so you know what's going on. And um, yeah, it'll explain everything. All right, so here we go. I am pulling from New Beginnings Oracle just to kind of activate the reading. Let's see what message is coming through for you today. Ah, card 30, walk your own journey. It is essential to stay on your own path. Mm -hmm. Walk your own journey, Cancer, or whoever you are watching. It's also important to know that because... Um, this is a general reading. Energies can come through reversed. What that means is I could be speaking directly to a cross watcher. And it, as a general reading, it may not resonate for everybody. Take what speaks to you, leave the rest. If you've been looking for a personal private reading, I do offer them. There's a link in the description box below every video that will take you to my booking page. All right, so this is my split soulmate spread. Because you can't see the cards on the counter here, I'm gonna pull the spread, lift all the cards up as, you know, as I pull them or as I do the clarifiers too, give you my general impressions. We'll let the clarifiers give us the details and the nuances. And then we'll do the deeper dive in the extended, okay? Here we go. Wow, Cancer. So the overall energy here is we're dealing with some heartache. A person, your, your person showing up here with you on their mind. Their struggle here, Two of Wands. Um, their challenge is what they want, what path they are walking. See, you are getting this message to walk your own journey and they're not sure what journey they're on, quite frankly. Their opportunity, hmm, yeah, Nine of Cups. So it's all about um, how they operate through moments of complacency and so their opportunity is maybe not to be so complacent to the nine of cups has that tendency where things feel good as they are. And so we kind of stop taking the necessary actions. The two of wands for this person is saying, what do you want? And it's not just about what you want, but what do you, what action do you need to take? What do you need to set in motion so that what you want arrives? It's the next card would be the three of wands, which is a manifestation card. So I feel like the message that will come through with the clarifiers will speak about how to not be so complacent. So for you, we get the sun. So perfect. It's essential to stay on your own path to your own happiness here, Cancer, or again, whoever you are watching. It's essential. This is about your happiness. This is about whatever it is that has thrown three daggers at your heart, how you navigate the path forward. Um, it, it, it's not about what happens to us. It's about how we react. Um, how we move forward, and that's part of your struggle. Knight of Pentacles, things moving very slowly, 
Um, and maybe that's been part of the problem. That's been part of the heart heaviness. <clears throat> and your opportunity, Seven of Cups, is recognizing that you have a lot of options and it doesn't all have to be dramatic. Sometimes the Seven of Cups, we get in the weeds of all the emotions. We ride the waves, the highs and lows, and we see all the options as it's too much to take. I can't process all of it. Take it one cup of crazy at a time. Okay, so I'm seeing the Seven of Cups in a positive light. It may be difficult because it may not be your strong suit, but, you know, <laughs> it's like we have to go back to those days when... We, when everything was new, when everything, when we were younger and every experience was new and we just had to sort of take one little, we had to chunk it. Remember when you were in school and we'll just chunk it, Laura, you know, just take one little chunk at a time. And, and then it wasn't so overwhelming. So I have a feeling um, that that is your answer. That is part of your process. So let's see this three of swords. Mm. And again, it is about the future, possibly life partnership, what lies ahead, all the worry and the heart heaviness at the very least. It, we may not be at a stage of heartbreak, but certainly heartache, heart heaviness, worry, uh, uh, you know, preoccupied with maybe disappointment around something that isn't moving forward or forward fast enough with regard to the future. This is Divine Feminine, the Empress. Um, so let's see this Empress energy <coughs> on the mind of your person. Good. Um, this seems positive. There's Something's coming to light. They're starting to have maybe a little bit of an epiphany that this is going to take some work, that they need to focus on it, give it their, you know, undivided attention and energy and effort, and that it isn't easy. No relationship is their work. They require some measure of time, attention, energy, effort, resources, love, you know, I don't see the Six of Pentacles, but I'm feeling that energy of the give and take, of the reciprocity. But at least this person is starting to see clearly that they have to kind of push through. They're starting to go, oh, all right, if I want this person in my life who has given so much to me, Empress, then I'm going to have to at least focus on this, at least put, you know, put some of my effort into it. Two of Wands is their struggle. Oh. Looks like you may have given this person an ultimatum. Yep. Because here, it's like walk your own journey. It's essential to stay on your path as the oracle. And I feel like uh, Queen of Swords may have come in and said, hey, what the hell? What do you want? What is this? Because this is not working. <laughs> Queen of Swords can, can be very fair-minded, very diplomatic, but in her reversed energy, not so much. She will cut a bitch. And I'm feeling that tower energy was a shake and a wake up call and very judgmental and very like, yeah, no, you got to, you got to turn, you got to decide. So I feel that's been maybe not just a challenge, maybe not even a block, but a, a wake up and a shake up for this person about the path that they are walking with regard to this connection. And so now... It is a struggle because it has gotten their attention. Um, let's see, the opportunity is this Nine of Cups. Uh, yeah. 
I'm feeling the um, high priestess as their, 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 their inner guide, their inner knowing about what they want because they've been so undecided. And sure, the Nine of Cups feels good. And the Nine of Cups can be about wish fulfillment. And it can be about this sense of, you know, things feeling good and balanced and every, everybody's in a good frame of mind. But if, if you're being challenged by someone saying, yeah, no, you got to decide, then you got to decide and you're operating on intuition. Well, if this isn't enough, right? And underneath is the page of wands. So for those of you who are new when I'm pulling from the bottom of the deck, it's what you can't see. So it's either in unconscious awareness or it's playing out behind the scenes. Either way, you can't see it. So within this person is some little spark, something that says, I want to follow the joy. I want to follow the passion. I want to, right? I, there is there is some spark there. Um, and that's what they're going to be tapping into their intuition to assess realities on the ground, to help them find what feels good in this connection and then kick it up a notch. This is just like the strike of the matchbook cover that goes and sort of lights this person up enough. So while the nine of cups is a good place to start, this person will have to come to terms with what does their intuition tell them about where to head, what, what they're really dealing with, what they really want? And the Page of Wands is the optimist within. So it feels as if um, their struggle is they've been a little complacent, they haven't exactly been moving very fast, and even though the pages don't seem like they play much of a role. This might be just the kicker that this person needs. You know how people used to say, hey, let me light a match under that ass, right? Like, I mean, I have had my parents say this to me as a teenager. It, like the chop chop kind of a thing. It might be just what is needed here. Now for you, the sun, Yeah. Um, you're coming into this reading saying, I have been about as patient as I can be. And you have done nothing but avoid me. You have done nothing but avoid the situation. You have all but like gnawed your own leg off to try to avoid moving forward in this connection, taking no action. I'm done. Right? Because this is, a, this is impacting your happiness. I'm not seeing a totally broken heart, but I'm seeing the worry that, you know, the future you imagined or that you've discussed or that you've thought was underway is slipping away because of avoidance. I'm not seeing full out deception, although it's a general, so that could be the case for some of you, but I'm seeing that patience wearing very thin and it's impacting your happiness. So... Yeah. Knight of Pentacles being the problem here. Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups. There's our Six of Pentacles. I knew I felt it. Um, it's not that the love isn't there. It's that, you know... You're ready for more. You're ready for life partnership. And the Knight of Pentacles, while a perfectly honorable approach, because the Knight of Pentacles is about beginning with the end in mind, and therefore that Knight moves very slowly and is um, more methodical and deliberate and intentional and wants to be sure that every T is crossed and every I is dotted and that by the time it arrives at its destination, it has a legit offer, the pinnacle, right? Something tangible. 
So it's not the Knight of Wands. It's not the Knight of Swords. It's, it's, it's not, there's no fluff here. It's all stuff. But it's the, it's the one knight that, you know, doesn't tend to move very fast and sometimes can be very stuck in the mud, very stubborn. So that's what I'm feeling I'm seeing here. Notice the queen, her back is to the king. So the love is there, I'm, I'm sure, but we have no motion. And we also may be lacking some reciprocity, um, right? Some give and take that I was talking about before when I was looking at this person's eight of pentacles, like, yeah, I've got to focus on this and put some work into it. I was really feeling this card. That it's not just about, you know, giving it your attention. It's about being invested on all levels and in all aspects of the relationship. And so that's the problem here is there's no, there's no real give and take. It's been more one-sided. Seven of Cups as the opportunity. Oh. Well, because there may be options, we're going to call this the options card this time around, folks. I don't always, but that it's coming in and up. You have to think when you're doing a spread about the placement, right? What the, what the card placement is, and this is an opportunity placement. And what we get is the Four of Pentacles. And sometimes the Four of Pentacles is about boundaries. It can be guardedness, it can be all those things, and you know, I'm gonna see it right now, I'm gonna to choose to see it as one of your options is to create some boundaries and to make sure that your focus is, this is what we're talking about. We're talking about emotional completion, fulfillment, bliss, nirvana, we have it all. This is like the only stop on the train so that you're sticking fast to it. That's it. That's the option. And with the strength card underneath, it's the recognition that this is an obstacle that needs to be overcome and that you have to help each other. That's part of the message of the strength card is these two help each other. And it's a process. But once, you know, when I was looking at the Seven of Cups, I was saying it can be very overwhelming. Well, not if you chunk it down to Ten of Cups. That's what we got to do. We got to find our way past the Nine of Cups, Bill, because that's nice. Glad you're feeling good. This is the la This is the stop on the train that I'm interested in. Right, because that cuts out a whole lot of other monsters here and gets us straight to the rose in the center. See how I took away all the, <laughs> you know. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Eyes on the rose, center pentacle, my heart. We're stopping at ten of pentacles, ten of cups. That's what we're stopping at, and I'm gonna help you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna help you. So that's what I feel the opportunity is to get to this place and to have this Knight of Pentacles start to move. So that's, that's what I'm picking up here in this connection. If this is speaking to you, we're going to go to the extended and, and we're looking at this emperor. Uh, I do feel a strong divine feminine masculine energy present in this spread. So let's just call it an emperor. We're looking at this person's perception of you there feelings for you, their intentions toward you, their, what they get from you, what are they receiving from you, um, like what are they drawing off you energetically, their um, physical or, you know, the chemistry, the intimacy, uh, level of fulfillment there, and where they see the connection going. All these things will help you get a read on what's going on behind the scenes with them. If you feel this reading is maybe resonated for you 75 to 80 percent that could be very helpful for you i know it's a general reading but it could be helpful for you so 
Stick a pin in that. Before And the links to that are below. Option one is a renewal for the sign of cancer. So with that, you get the new moon, you get the full moon, you get the monthly energy updates, you get every cancer reading I've ever done, this one and every one I ever will do, but it is a monthly renewal. Option number two is just this extended. And obviously option number three is the all extended, um, the all access pass to everything. Okay, just like to let you know that. And before I give you the astrology that showed up here, if you have enjoyed this reading and have not yet done so, please subscribe. And if you've been watching for a while and have not yet done so, because you know it slips your mind, you're in the groove and you just haven't done it, subscribe below, please. That is the energetic exchange. Oh, please, I'm I, help a girl out. All right, that's what I have for you. Here we go. The Empress came out, I believe, twice. Yes, Venus, Taurus, and Libra. We've got, um, ooh, the Tower. That's Mars, and Mars rules Aries. Queen of Swords, not in her higher vibration today, uh, is Libra. Libra in the Justice card as well. We have got the High Priestess is the Moon. Uh, the moon actually rules the sign of cancer. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We've got the sun is a sun, rules the sign of Leo. Temperance is Sagittarius. Uh, there's our emperor is Aries. Our knight of pentacles is Virgo. Queen of pentacles, Capricorn. King of cups is Scorpio. And we close out here with the strength card, which is Leo. And of course, remember card 30, walk your own journey. It's essential to stay on your own path. And I'm headed to the extended. I will see you there in a second. Bye for now.